¿Cómo están? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? My name is Simonette. Welcome to my page. And I'm going to be giving you some tips as a tutor. Yes, I teach. I train. I'm a tour guide. But also, tutoring is different. It's more personal. And so, I'm going to give you some tips or some things that I've learned. So, first thing is that you must know your clients. Know who it is that you're teaching and it takes more than just knowing where they live you need to find out there there's some depending on where they're from the culture might be different there are certain things you don't do you probably don't wear certain things it depends know the culture know your clients know that this person on a Saturday probably don't want you to be sending schoolwork or on a Sunday or on a special holiday just know your clients so that's one two assess your client assess meaning you need to find out why it, why is it that they want to learn the subject or why they want to learn what it is that you're offering what they need what what do they need why do they need it so is it that their job requires it? Is it that they're doing it because they're going to travel? Is it that they found a partner that speaks the language and they want to learn it? Is that they're doing it in an exam, CXC, Dele? Why? Why do they want to learn it? Find out about their learning styles. That no, that's number three. Their learning style. Is it that they prefer to do hands-on or do they want to listen is it a combination you need to find out and you find this out through you have some quizzes that you can do online but you also find out through discussion ask the person how do you like to learn what when do you prefer music do you prefer songs and then that, that takes me to my next point which is you're gonna find out things that are not related to the subject meaning you know more about your client what's their favorite song movie so you can incorporate it is it that you you are going to maybe get a beat from their favorite song if beyonce is their favorite artist find a song and incorporate it find somewhere their favorite movie or their favorite actor oh you've just met your favorite actor salma hike um what do you say to her you can use it in your situations so that they know that is not just the regular thing you're doing you are going above and beyond that is important um no <clears throat> i know as a tutor you love the job you love what you do but payment is important so regarding payment let's go um regarding payment determine how payment will be done each both of you must know what's happening is it that i'm doing voluntary service or is it a job we need to know that from is it that i'm helping you in what you're doing and if that's what both of us understand fine no problem but if this is a job am I getting paid monthly weekly at the end of the contract you decide me I Simonette prefer to get the money at the end of each session because I've had an experience where when it was time to pay me they said that's not what they owed me so I prefer to get it each time just so that we don't have any confusion but you decide because if it's a company that you're doing it for more than likely it'll be monthly or end of the contract but again you will decide how you're gonna do that that aspect of it all right and proper accounting um you can have a, a schedule each time you go they sign and say okay january 25th at 7 to 8 we did a session and they signed and you can pay it if they pay if they didn't pay so you decide but have proper accounting so that on either end because sometimes it's not that they don't want to pay it's that they don't remember and sometimes they don't want to pay it. but you decide so proper accounting but with proper accounting and getting your money there's some things that you must do you must be on time stop making excuses you're like oh traffic every week at traffic so no so make sure that you know you're on time if it if it's a place that you're going especially if you're going to their house and you know that it can't happen one time you know you can have emergencies but it can't be that consistent because what you're gonna start is a ripple effect if you're supposed to be there at 11 and you start coming 11 15 then they're gonna say oh she's not gonna be early and then they they go somewhere and come back 11 30 and so your next session that like, you should have at one and everything starts getting late so make sure that you are on time even though it's not a traditional classroom or you might be going to their house or you're meeting them somewhere it's still a session still a service 
you need to be on time be professional set expectations find out what it is that they want um what is it that they expect at the end of it and both are your set expectations i expect you to do the assignment i expect you to be on time i expect you to let me know that you're not understanding if you're not understanding it and just let us set our expectations and the guidelines and you set a standard because you see you're creating your reputation they say oh you mean simonet that the lady we always later that the one that when you start one session she not complete yeah you're creating your reputation so you have to bear that in mind um you must be flexible <laughs> flexible but not for want of a better word stupid in the sense of Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel today and each time there this person's canceling. No. You you have to be flexible. There'll be emergencies and so somebody might might have a class at eleven or something at, at ten thirty while you are on your way and they say I can't come. It can happen. Be flexible. But it can't be that every week this person is not showing up and you're like, Oh, I understand. No, there's a difference. And then in your sessions you decide. Set standards as I said. Is it that if you cancel 24 hours before, um, you don't get back the money? Or if you cancel 24 hours before, you get back the money. But if one hour before, then you would have lost the payment. It depends. You decide. But you have to, you're have. you human and each situation is different. But you must be flexible and adaptable. And the final point is that you must be you. Can't be nobody else. Don't pretend to be somebody else. Because in the end and over a period of time, the, the only person that you can be is you and that person will come out so have fun don't be too mm, no have fun be flexible be you give your clients the best experience they ever had and i'm guaranteeing you that especially tutoring is a more word of mouth basis than even you advertising so be careful of the reputation you're creating for yourself. But have a wonderful day. Give them a great experience. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking about going into tutoring, you can do it. Be amazing. Be awesome. Put your things below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Adios.